My name is Armand de Preer. I'm the chairman of the emerging stock farmers of Kornebuschle, Lapland, Rooiwuchte, Jutenijk. I have a lovely testimony of uh, how we as farmers uh, decided not to steal water anymore. We uh, at Ward 1 Ward 51, RF1, um, in Newtonite, we were stealing water from the Hilwach tip. And on a, in a meeting in the town hall, which was chaired by um, Rulf Basson, uh, Zwayi, Nozi, uh, people from management in the municipality, that was present and, present and many of our stock farmers around from Kwanu, Kwanabushle, Lapland, Rooiwuchte, Utenek area were all there uh, where I stood up and said to everybody that if we trust the Lord and uh, <clears throat> if we trust the Lord for rain, for water, we cannot steal water and pray for the Lord to help us to get water on our farms. And uh, in the town hall, we made a decision we're not going to steal water anymore from Hilwach Tip, our farmers. And then I led, uh, I led us in prayer and mm. we prayed, said, Lord, give us wisdom, give us insight, give, give us discernment so that we can get water on our farms. And this dam was built within uh, three weeks and within six weeks the dam was full it's a massive dam uh, that was built in a very short period out of a small little stream that uh, i could easily just jump over and that is a testimony of what what god can do if we trust him if we trust God and we do not lean on our own understanding, we have to decide, Lord, we're not going to steal water anymore. Lord, please help us to find, to get water. Help us, give us wisdom, Lord. Because wisdom begins with serving God. Wisdom begins uh, by reading our Bibles. And reading the Bible much more than what we are praying and building this dam is a testimony to every farmer and every municipality, municipal uh, people in management, the people from the DA and whoever, ANC, that was involved in those two meetings in the town hall in Newtonek. They were there, there was no water, there was no dam. And after we prayed, probably within three months later, we had a dam. And uh, we also had a Burghat sink at also a very low cost. Uh, I paid for those costs, so we did not even ask somebody else. But uh, that is a testimony of what God can do if we trust Him and do not lean on our own understanding. When I build this dam out of this, this big dam, about a two million liter water dam uh, in such a short period out of that small little stream I, I also realized that when we see a, a water leak running down our streets and we help the municipality uh, to fix that leak or just report the leak and then make sure that the leak is done to do a follow up help the municipality because uh, the municipality is a big organization. There's lots of admin to be done. So if we follow up on the water leak and help the municipality, municipality to re and remind them that the water leak, just give them updates that the water leak is not done yet, phone in and not be, crit uh, uh, not be criticizing the municipality, but rather let's work together with the municipality and support our municipality support our govern, government <clears throat> because the Bible says that uh, we must pray for our government. doesn't matter if it's the, 
EFF of the RVBS, the Bible says, if that is your, if that is your government, then, then God has put them there. We must pray for our government. And if we support our government and help where we can, we can make a difference. So I've realized by fixing a leak, just in the street, reporting a leak, help that it's being fixed. We're indirectly building massive dams like this. Because this is not a very big stream. And uh, we could build this big, big dam out of this small little stream. Now just imagine if uh, there's about 2,000 water leaks reported in our metro, Nelson Mandela metro. If we can fix those 2,000 water leaks, we are indirectly building 2,000 dams by fixing a water leak. So let us all work together, not be critical. Let's work together as friends and we build dams indirectly by fixing or helping to fix a leak.